right, so in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how you can apply three life hacks towards being able to really transform your experience at the job that you have, even if the job you have isn't actually what you wanna be doing for a living or what your passion is, how you can enjoy the process and some little things that we can do to tweak our experience of what those are. Now, first off, I wanna share a little bit of my story so that you understand where I'm coming from because I've definitely worked at a job that I don't necessarily enjoy, uh, that I even feel resistance with doing sometimes. And one of those reasons is because I just, I know what my potential is, just like I'm sure you do. Like You know what your potential is, and you know that if you're doing a job that you don't necessarily prefer to do, you know that your potential is far outside of that. So that perspective a lot of times ends up kind of shrinking us into feeling the resistance while we're actually doing whatever we're doing. So just to give a little bit of a backstory to what I do, I work in a sales commission job that I've had since uh, I was going to college, and it's a commission job working in high-end retail sales. So I sell women's shoes, and I get paid a commission of what whatever I sell. So part of the job, what I like is the fact that whatever I put into it is what I get out of it because I don't get paid an hourly really. I just get paid commission on what I sell. And the idea is that uh, I enjoy that process of it. I like the idea of selling. And while I'm not necessarily extremely passionate about shoes, the idea is that I learn the processes of the idea of selling. So I'm gonna be giving it from that perspective and how I've learned to transform the job that I have, but you can apply this towards anything. You can apply it towards maybe even being in the food business. You can apply it towards having a selling job, telemarketing job, whatever job that you can have. Uh, there's ways of tweaking the way that we think about it, and that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you. Now, with that being said, uh, one simple tweak that I've made, and this is the first life hack, is understanding that we choose what we are doing. So a lot of times we get stuck into like this little trap almost. We get stuck into a trap where we say that I have to go to work. I have to go this. I have this perspective even. And the idea is that when we say those things, we are imposing this powerlessness onto the reality that we're experiencing. We're saying that we don't have a choice whether we go to work or not. Now, uh, the ego mind or the logical mind might be saying, well, of course I have to go to work because I have to pay my bills. But the idea is, is the way to pay the bills or is the way to even you know live life, is it necessary for you to go to the job that you're going to? Now, a lot of times you'll find that there are other things you could be doing. You could maybe call out that day, maybe you could find another job, uh, maybe it would take a little bit of work, but you could do it. But the idea is that the moment that we take out our power and we say that we don't have a choice is the moment that we stop actually feeling empowered. Now the way that we simply do this is, and what we do for this is we switch the dial on it. Instead of saying, I have to go to work, I choose to go to work. Because at the end of the day, if I choose not to go to work, I can choose not to go to work, right? If I choose not to go to work today, will the world end for me? Will everything go to shit? Most likely not. Most likely I'll find something else to do or I'll look for another job or whatever it might be. But the idea is that if we simply change the way that we define ourselves and the way that we define our job, we then begin to change the experience that we have from it. So I used to think to myself and I'd be like going to work, man, I have to go to work today. I don't enjoy this. Or I, And what I realized was that even having that perspective and not realizing that I'm choosing to go to work because I'm choosing to go to work because maybe the financial abundance that it provides for me so that I can put that money into my passion or the stability that it gives me. There are certain benefits of it, but I don't see that as long as I'm a victim to the circumstance of me having to go to my job. So the first life hack is simply change our wording. Instead of thinking that we have to go do something, we know that we are choosing to do something. We are choosing to go to work. No one's forcing us to do it. Maybe we have bills to pay, but there are other options. And as soon as we become aware that we're choosing it, we then realize and become empowered because we realize that we can choose something else. Instead of choosing a job that we don't prefer, we could choose to look for another job. We could choose to expand our scope of influence and maybe talk to people that we haven't talked to in a while. There's different things that we can choose to do once we realize that we actually have a choice. But until we change the way that we define it, we won't experience that because we won't be focused on what our choice could possibly be. Because 
of the way that we're viewing it, we're defining ourselves to be. So that I think is one of the most powerful things that we can use for these life hacks is realizing that we're choosing to go to work and that the moment we switch that definition, the moment we start to become more powerful and then we can choose what we want to do from that place on out. Now, the second life hack that I want to share with you is understanding that there are certain parts of our job that we can really come to enjoy. You may realize that uh, there's certain parts of your job that you really don't enjoy. Now, the more that you focus on those characteristics and those perspectives, the more that you're actually going to begin to feel those effects. So if maybe you work with like one person that you don't enjoy, for example, uh, maybe if when you go to work, the more that you focus on that person, the more that you engage in dialogue with that person, you might not feel positive emotion. You know, you might feel the opposite. You might feel negative emotion. But the idea is that the more that you engage with it, the more that you focus on it, the more you feel the negative emotion. But if instead you switched your focus to something else, maybe there's somebody else that you work with that you enjoy more and you could find yourself uh, talking to that person more. Or maybe the idea is that you focus on a certain perspective or a certain characteristic of your job that you do like. So for example, for me, uh, working in a sales commission job, I talk to people from all over the world. I meet people from Dubai, people from China, people from Australia, Mexico, Canada, Europe, everywhere. And I love that aspect of what I do because I get to meet people from all over. I get to have conversations with people that own successful businesses. I get to pick people's brains. I get to learn more about so many different things because I am working at a place where people come to me that are from everywhere with the demand of something they want that I can provide. So having that kind of perspective really allows me to change how I experience the job that I'm at. And I think that if you look at your job, you might find something that you don't like, but the more you focus on it, the more you feel negative emotion. But if you were to switch it and start to focus on the parts of your job that you like, you know, if you find yourself that, you know, certain part of your day you need to do research, maybe you can enjoy the research that you do. If you have to like, you know, do something where you find more information out about something, maybe uh, you like talking to people and, you know, you're working in sales or some type of industry where you're constantly talking to people, you can learn to enjoy certain certain parts of aspects of your job if you choose to focus on the benefit and the positiveness of it. So simply changing that perspective and choosing to focus while we're at our job on the things that we actually enjoy gives us an actual ability towards really feeling more positive emotion about it and then ultimately being able to really enjoy the process rather than see everything that we're doing in our job as a means rather than an end in itself. Now, the third life hack that I have is being able to outgrow the current job that you're in. Now, a lot of people that maybe don't enjoy their job, they might be looking for another job. Now, this could and sometimes is the path of least resistance. Maybe if you really don't enjoy your job and there's just no possible way that you can see the positive in it, that might be something that you consider. But the idea is that if there's, you know, some parts of it that you can actually choose to enjoy, uh, there and there's a certain level for growth or maybe opportunity, the idea could be that you learn how to perfect what you're doing, that you learn how to outgrow the current situation that you're in. You know, I, uh, Actually, the book's right here. Think and Grow Rich is one of my favorite books of all time. And in that book, he talks about how if you're looking for, you know, a new opportunity, the idea is to more than fill the present space that you're in. Rather than looking for another job, maybe look for another job, but what you can also do is more than fill the space that you're in by realizing that you can focus on adding more value than anybody else by what is called the QQMA formula or going the extra mile. QQMA formula is the quality of service plus the quantity service plus the mental attitude equals the success that you're looking for or going the extra mile. Do more than you're expected to do and as you begin to do that, you begin to open up other opportunities. Now, even me, for example, I enjoy the process of selling and that's one part of the job that I actually really have come to like because I think that we use selling in just about everything that we do, whether you're selling to your friends on some idea or you're selling to uh, you know, a parent on something that you want to do, whatever it is, the idea is that you're constantly using this. It's just what degree are you willing to perfect it? So if you're in a job where you're talking to other people, you could work on your communication skills. You could learn how to perfect 
maybe get books, maybe read about it, how to perfect where you currently are. And as you begin to more than fill your present space, you begin to open up new opportunities for you. I've realized this especially when I'm at work and I'm in a real flow state where I'm really vibing and uh, having like, you know, a really good day. There's a lot of times I'll meet people that are successful business owners and I've had people offer me jobs. I've had people offer me to go to this place or to go do this with them or go to lunch with them or whatever it might be. The idea is that I open up these opportunities simply because I'm more than filling my present space. Now, I might not be so passionate about the idea of women's shoes and selling $1,200 pair of shoes, but the idea is that I am passionate about helping people. I am passionate about communicating with people and uh, learning how I can really express myself as much as I can. And if I can even give this ability towards being passionate about something I'm not even passionate about, imagine how passionate I could be about something I am actually passionate about. And what am I passionate about? The only ideas that I'm sharing with you right now. You know, I'm sure that you can see that there's passion in what I'm saying because this is what I love speaking about. I love talking about things that empower us, that give us this ability to really progress our life in a powerful way. And what I encourage you to do is to look within you and to ask yourselves, can you look at your job in a little bit of a different way? Can you see that you are choosing to go to work? And as you know that you're choosing to go to work, you can see that you can choose other options. You then start to feel more empowered. And then through that, you then realize that you can start to look at your job from a positive perspective. You can realize that there's certain parts of your job that you like. There's certain people that you might not like talking to. What you could do is not focus on them. Even if they're there, don't focus on the thing that you don't enjoy about them. Sometimes you'll even do that as you're not focusing on it. That starts to go away. It's funny how it works. And the idea could be that then what you decide to do is that you're more than going to fill the present space that you're in. You're going to do your job so well that you open up new opportunities for yourself. You're going to learn from everything that you do. And as you start to have that mentality, amazing things can happen. You might find that your job altogether begins to change. You might find that new opportunities open up that weren't there before. You might find that you then are able to live your passion and to do what you want on the side. That's what I'm doing. I take the money that I make at my job and I fuel it into camera equipment, into uh, different opportunities that give me leverage towards living my passion for a living so that one day this can be what I do all of the time. One day I hope to be working 90 hours a week doing something with creating content, with speaking, with everything that I can imagine doing, and that will one day be my reality. But until then, I'm going to enjoy the process of where I'm at. I'm going to enjoy the job that I have and understand that I am choosing to go to that job. So I am choosing the kind of experience that I'm having, and that is an empowerment state of being. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Share it if you found it of value, and I will see you guys on the next vid. All right. Peace. Much love.